Welcome to Webidoo. In this short tutorial, we will learn how to purchase a domain using Webidoo and connect it to a Webidoo website. Now that our website is built, it's time to connect it to a domain. A domain can be purchased using Webidoo or one of many different registrars. To purchase a domain using Webidoo, we click on the settings icon of the site we want to set up. Now, in the domain and email section, we write the name of the preferred domain and click search. We choose the domain name from the list of those available, at this case .com, and click Done. The next step is choosing a payment plan. We choose the plan best suited for us. In this process, we will create an account with a username and password for domains.webidoo.com. Now that we have a domain, we need to create a connection between the domain name and the location of our website on the server. To start this process, we need the A record. A record is what connects the domain name that we write in the browser to the IP address where the site is stored. Back in the dashboard, click on the settings icon. Here we can see the A record. We will now copy this number in order to insert it in the proper place on our chosen registrar's website. For this tutorial, our registrar is domains.webidoo.com, where we bought the domain. If you purchase yours elsewhere, go to their website. We log into our domains.webidoo.com account. Under your domain, we choose the domain we wish to connect and click on DNS under edit. Now we can set the A record settings. If using another domain provider, the DNS record may be found under a different name, such as A host or host records. The first box will redirect from your domain name.com. We leave it blank and paste the A record under IP address. Other domain registrars may have an at symbol instead of the blank box in the DNS settings area. They all work the same and will allow typing yourdomainname.com to be redirected to the website. In the next box, we write www and again paste the A record under the IP address. This will send anyone who types www.yourdomainname.com in the browser to the website. The connection process is almost done. Now we'll complete it on the server's side. That's where our website is located. Back in the dashboard, we return to settings and domain and email. At this point, we make sure we have purchased a domain hosting and CMS yearly plan. If not, we can click on order now and purchase it. Now, we click add a new domain. Write the domain name purchased and click add. We do it once more without the www. So the changes we did on the registrar side earlier will be applied. We pick one of the domains to be the primary one, so it will be the one displayed on the web and all others will be redirected to it. Lastly, for the live site to be updated, we will enter the studio and click publish. And we are done. We created a connection on both sides, the domain name and the IP address. Now, typing yourdomainname.com or www.yourdomainname.com in an internet browser will take us to our website. The connection we made is almost immediate, but sometimes it may take up to 48 hours to see the effect. Those are all the steps needed to connect a domain to your website. You can check out additional tutorials to learn more about creating and managing websites in the Webidoo Academy video lessons. For any questions, we're always here to help.